In the heart of Rome, among ancient splendors and relics, lies a treasure seldom seen by the public eye. The Basilica of Santa Anastasia is the guardian of a relic of Saint Joseph. The Diocese of Rome has granted EWTN a unique opportunity to film the relic up close, which was last shown to the world in 2020 on the occasion of the Year of Saint Joseph. For 16 centuries, the Basilica of Saint Anastasia has housed the Holy Garment, believed to have been brought to Rome by Saint Jerome in the fourth century, along with a colorful veil of the Virgin Mary. The two relics offer a glimpse into the Holy Family's life, where Saint Joseph silently cared for Mary and Jesus. March 19th, the Feast of Saint Joseph celebrates the patron saint of fathers. In Italy and around the world, it's a day to honor the men who embody the spirit of giving for their families. And Saint Joseph could serve as the model for fathers everywhere, especially now when many families face the challenge of staying together. In the United States, one out of every four children live in a home without a father figure, a situation mirrored globally. This absence impacts millions, shaping our communities and our future. Families on pilgrimage in Rome agree that the father figure is crucial to the family's well-being. The figure of father is a very strong figure, so the kids have to, be, have to feel safe and uh, the mother and the father will give the love each other, and so the kids are safe. For the family, the father figure is the identity, the protection, the support. The father figure is important because I believe that he is the one who gives identity. He is the one who leaves a mark on you and, indeed, from childhood, enables you to fulfill your destiny and purpose. Saint Joseph is very important. He represents a greater love for a child who is not his own, like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Son of Mary, Son of God, but not of Saint Joseph. However, Saint Joseph was his protection during a period on earth, and his upbringing was very significant. Pope Francis, speaking about fatherhood during his general audience, emphasized that fathers are not born, but made. It's about accepting the responsibility for another's life, a commitment that transforms a man into a father. A man does not become a father simply by bringing a child into the world, but by taking up the responsibility to care for that child. This responsibility St. Joseph carried out through his life and left an example for today's fathers. In your family is to live heroically. Bishop Robert Barron, reflecting in an interview with EWTN in Rome, points out that St. Joseph is the man of action. I love how Joseph never speaks in the, in the Gospels. We never hear one word from him. He's a man of obedience to the Lord. He takes in the divine word and then he does it. He acts. Uh, not a lot of uh, blah blah and talking and explaining and excusing himself. He listens and he acts. And he acts by providing and protecting. Or look to Joseph, listen, take in the divine word, and then get going, do it. Monsignor Bon Giovanni, a priest from the Diocese of Rome who assists couples in preparing for the sacrament of marriage, also emphasizes that the key traits embodied by Saint Joseph throughout his life, responsibility and humbleness, are the important qualities for a husband and a father. San Giuseppe, ecco, è l'immagine di come deve essere un papà. Saint Joseph is the image of how a father should be. To start with, Saint Joseph was obedient to God. Saint Joseph is a strong man who assumes his responsibilities. Mary knows that she can count on him in times of joy as well as in times of trial. Saint Joseph is hardworking. He is not a lazy man. He is not an adolescent. He is a mature man aware of his responsibility and living it to the fullest. And then Joseph is a man of prayer and meekness, of tenderness and patience, and the model one should refer to and pray to so that mankind discerns the Father's role 
perché aiuti l'umanità a riscoprire il ruolo del padre. Pope Francis, in his apostolic letter, Patris Corde, presents St. Joseph as a figure of compassionate love and as a father who accepts, teaches, and is present through the ordinary yet significant actions of daily life. In the Basilica of St. Anastasia in Rome, St. Joseph's cloak symbolizes a story of love and sacrifice. Legend has it that upon Mary's suggestion, Joseph traded the cloak she had given him on their wedding day for wood to continue his carpentry, symbolizing the selflessness and care at the heart of his legacy. <laughs>